today I'm going to talk to you about a very common problem of women in the reproductive age, what we call pelvic inflammatory disease or infection of the reproductive organs. Now infection is common in our country, particularly because of our weather. Hot and humid weather in the summer and in the monsoon brings lots of infection, be it bacterial infection or it's a fungal infection. Now what happens or how this infection start? Now whenever we have reproductive in tract infection, we think it's sexually transmitted. But that's not always correct. Even unmarried women, young women may develop infection because of some incorrect hygienic practice or unhygienic practice to be very specific. Now reproductive tract is situated just between the urinary tract in front and the rectum behind. So we have two sources of infection, in front urine and behind stool. So if we are not cleaning ourselves properly at the time of toilet, that means after urination or after defecation, then we can bring infection into the reproductive tract. Nowadays we have many hygienic solutions uh, which women can use to clean themselves and these products have natural bacteria within themselves. Normally women have lactobacilli within their reproductive tract and this lactobacilli is a healthy bacteria which prevents other dangerous bacteria to get in. If we are too, if we are, uh, too fussy about cleaning, sometimes we clean ourselves so much that we remove or destroy this natural bacteria. So whenever women are cleaning themselves, they should use simple water and a very mild soap or sometimes avoiding soap can be enough. There is no need of using antiseptic solutions or anything like that which is actually more harmful. We have some treatment to improve the general, uh, general tendency of preventing infection in women. But the other cause of infection could be some form of treatment. If women are undergoing some investigation, some treatment, they can get some infection out of it. And finally, infection can be of course caused by sexual relationship. So often infection is transmitted from men to women or women to men. Now we have seen many cases where women is getting repeated infection from men, from the partner, but the partner doesn't have any symptom. So partner is harboring the infection transmitting it to the female partner but he himself is not manifesting any symptoms whatsoever. So in these cases we actually have to treat not only the woman but to the male partner as well. Simultaneous treatment of the couple. It often happens that these infections are recurrent in nature. They come back. You treat them, they get well but again they get the infection back. And it happens that at the time of menstruation, the chance of recurrence is much higher. So this infection are actually hidden inside the glands, inside the tissue of the reproductive organ. And as soon as there is menstruation, the bacteria get some uh, nutrition on which they can survive. And therefore at the time of menstruation, the recurrence of infection is very common. Now in addition to the hygienic practice which we have discussed already, we also need to keep in mind what type of clothes we are wearing. If we are wearing very tight clothes and synthetic undergarments, that can result in lots of sweating and that sweating can give infection. So we often recommend, particularly in the summer, to wear cotton underwears and loose dresses, you know, not jeans but rather loose baggy trousers or skirts or some work amis, something like that. Now why we are so much worried about infection? Because infection can give you discomfort, discomfort of burning during micturation, passing during, burning sensation or discomfort inside the birth passage, discomfort or pain during sexual relationship. Often women can have offensive vaginal discharge which is obviously very uncomfortable and sometimes it can give lower tummy pain and even fever if the infection is that widespread. So we want to 
protect from infection, but if the infection has already developed, then we need to treat that infection. And that is done by giving oral antibiotics or antifungal uh, medicines, as well as local application of creams and pessaries within the vagina. Sometimes we do uh, some tests to identify the type of infection, but often what we find there are many funguses and bacteria so it's a mixed infection so we need to give several type of antibiotics together and we do repeat them every month at the time of menstruation so three months treatment will give better cure rather than a single treatment and as i've already said if there is a sexually active partner then we need to treat both of them because sometimes husbands ask question why on earth you are treating me and we tell them you are the herbal you are actually carrying the infection so we need to treat you first and then treat your wife finally the main problem with infection is it can result in blockage of the fallopian tube and blockage of the fallopian tube can result in infertility so infertility is such a problem and often even if the couple they have children this infection can result in heavy bleeding and pain so in order to avoid all these gynecological problems we ought to keep this in mind that we can prevent infection we can treat infection and we can prevent further recurrence in a way that we avoid many gynecological problem in future